So, this is about the NASA Assistant software, this one. Every time you open this, let's skip this one, well, I don't know what it skips, but every time you open it, you get this window, the announcement window, what is completely BS. There is a few announcements in there, and when you say don't show again, it will still show again. It's talking about the latest upgrade, V version 4.02. <coughs> so let's drag this over here that we have our tool in the corner and then I'm going to show how we connect the computer over here. So we need first of all this, the extension cord and the extension cord goes into the craft here. There is a USB cable in there have to fish it out and then you connect this one to the computer. You will see now in the computer once I connect the battery, I put this a little further back. When I connect the battery you will see that the lights come on down here. So let's do this. We take our remote and we turn it on first. And then we connect the battery to the craft. See this little thing blinking here, and then we concentrate on this, on the remote, for further stuff. I'm gonna have to spin this up all the way. Cut this out later in the video. Battery is almost empty here. Okay. In the software, we can see when we move here, left, right, roll, throttle, and those two. We can see in the software this button. That is the U here. We switch the mode between GPS, Eddy, and manual. In my case, manual. We can change that in the settings. And then this one here, the X2. Um, there's another one back here. You can move this, the X1. Here, right? Now, <coughs> let's get into the software, the basic button. Um, aircraft, so what type of aircraft, quad or XR, octa, or whatever. The mounting, where the controller is mounted. You can see in the software when you hover over things that there is explanations given here on the left. The remote control, this is where you would calibrate your remote control. For example, this one here, left, right, if you want to calibrate this you would say start calibration now you would move from all the way left to all the way right left right you would move up and down and up and down throttle up and down up and down and roll left to right and then it centers right now you would say finish So are they all in the middle? They are. Now, <coughs> the control switch here. Those three is happening down here. And the last step, the so GPS mode, Eddy mode, Attitude mode, right? And manual mode. This is selectable here. When you click on it and use the cursor up and down key, you can set this to whatever to fail safe or any manual right. When you push the enter button, this situation will be written to your craft. This thing here, X2, is the one here. And the X1 is the one on the back, this one. Right? Okay, then um, 
the receiver type you don't have to change because you didn't put the receiver in here, it was already in the craft. Again, if you hover over, there's explanations what what does. The gain ta uh, tab here, you can change the gain if you want, if you need. You should be more experienced if you want to do this, otherwise you go with the default values. The advanced tab, um, <coughs> the cutoff type, immediately or intelligent, you can change that here. Description is over on the left. You can go with the idle speed of your motor, high idle or low idle, whatever you like there. The failsafe mode, you either land when the fail situation happens, so let's say your radio stops working, it lands immediately. That is not so good because um, if you're over water, then it lands in the water, so that would not be good. Go home and land, so with the help of GPS it goes home and lands there. But for that, you have to make sure that your GPS is set correctly. Your start position, your go home, your home position, that that was correctly recognized before you start flying. IOC is the intelligent flight control. That was what this was, right? So cross lock here, home lock there, and off. Um, gimbal. If you have one, you would have the on switch on. And then um, you have different settings here. So the gimbal section is, I think, a whole new story worth a different movie. Voltage. A protection switch on. So if the voltage goes too low, this thing will put an LED warning out at this voltage and it will land at this voltage. The settings are default, so I don't know, I don't know why you would switch you can calibrate the voltage measurement in there in a way that you have a very accurate voltmeter. You would measure how much you have and then compare this with this number in order to calibrate it, right? And the last step here are the limits. So how far is this thing allowed to fly away? I have it set to 1000 meters high, uh, height and radius. That's your personal preference, so the craft won't go further than that. In version 402 it's supposed to work. Those tools here are none of any help. You can save it to your computer or import from your computer. If you don't know what this means, don't play with it. Upgrade. You can see that I am upgraded to firmware 402. There is no latest upgrade available, so there is no need for an update. If you want to, you would click here, it would check for it, it would download it. The current version is 402. So I don't need to upgrade. If I click the upgrade button, it would do it. That's how you would upgrade. It's not a big deal. You just click upgrade and it will do it. Now, this thing is already updated. You see here, so there is no need to use it. And in the info button, you see my serial number here. And uh, there is no updates to this software that we use right now. There is my user login, and then I get a newsletter. So this is all. This is what the software is about. No big deal. It, um, important to remember if if you change those numbers to let's say the maximum height to 500 meters. I'm going to do this. It will be read until I push the enter button and then it writes it to the craft. Other than that, the software is not very difficult. On the view page, it shows all your settings in one page. And yeah, that is the software. Not difficult. Upgrade not difficult. Everything cool. Thanks for watching.